Hello YouTube, it's a Faceless Man here, and today is November 1st, 2017. Now today I'm going to start a series on, you know, investing, especially for beginners. Now, if you're a beginner, guys, it's it's good that you're here. I'm going to teach you as much as I can and try to get cover as much as I can. Um, so kind of going to start with um, how many types of investors there are. There are multiple types of investors. There are day traders, dividend captures, um, swing traders, and, you know, long-term investors. So um, if you're new to investing, I do recommend you guys using Robinhood. Robinhood is a free stock trading application that allows you to trade stocks without any fees. Um, it doesn't require a minimum deposit. Um, you could actually have $5 in the account and still have the account. Um, so that's why I really like it. Um, now, guys, if you're new to investing, you have to understand that there are, you know, different kinds of investors. There are people that day trade. There are people that, you know, swing trade. There, there are people that, you know, long-term invest like I am. I'm a long-term investor. I do day trade. But, you know, those are th uh, different um methods that I use in different portfolios um, and then there are people that do dividend captures and I'm going to talk about some of them not get into depth but kind of give you a brief explanation so this video won't be too long um, now um, in Robinhood you can't not day trade um, unless you have a $25,000 limit if you have $25,000 in your account then you can day trade but um, I don't recommend it if you're a new investor just because you don't know what you're doing yet. Eventually, you can jump into it, but I do recommend you guys um, start slow and get the market first before you do day trade. Um, now, what swing traders are, kind of going to explain over here. Um, I'm going to explain with Ford real quick. Um, let's look at the week um, process. So, what? Um, let me give you an example. So, what you try to do here with. Um, with with swing trading is uh, you try to buy at a low. So you start, let's say you start off Monday, you buy here, and then you're waiting for it to go up and sell here. And then when it drops again, you're gonna buy, and then when you reach a certain peak, you're gonna sell. It drops again, you buy, it goes up again, and you sell. And this happens within like a day's process, I mean like two or three days. This is what you do throughout the week, that's what swing trading is. Um, day trading is a very, very similar process, but as you see, this was a week. Now this is a day. The way you do it in day trade is pretty much, um, buying at a low point and selling at a high point. And this could happen within five minutes or so. So every time you go at a low point, you, you buy, and then you sell at a high point. Now the, th the way you do it in day trading is that you always find a baseline. So whenever it drops, when it usually drops, that's where you buy. It's eventually going to peak up, especially a stock like this is, that, you know, jumps up and down a lot. But the way you kind of see it is that you try to find a base where to buy. So as you see here, there's always a pattern. Every time it drops down, you should buy around these areas and sell at these areas. So as you see, it has a, a pattern that it always has. As you see, there's there's these are places where you want to buy and these are places where you want to sell and what day traders do here is that they let's say buy 100 stocks at this point and then they sell all those 100 stocks at that point or you know there's different methods of doing it and people have many methods of doing it so that's pretty much what day trading is now long-term investors which i am a long-term investor is pretty much you buy stocks and hold them for the long term and stocks like let's say Ford an example again um, as you see here it does have a dividend now these pay a dividend guys um, this is a payout ratio and this is a this is what it um, pays for having it um, quarterly so every three months you get this much back which tends to be about you know sometimes it's 15 cents per stock so that's what dividends are dividends is the company paying you back a certain percentage for keeping the stock um now dividend captures is a very similar thing it's just whenever they have an x dividend date which let's say ford's x dividend date was on the 30th of this month if you have the stock in this month then or, i mean in this day then you're going to get paid that dividend and um 
and then you could just sell it off. So the next day, the 31st, you can sell, and then you'll still get the dividend. And that's what dividend capturers do. They try to find the um, ex-dividend dates, the days that they're going to um, um, put the dividend, and then they sell out the next day so they can capture the dividend, and then they could just keep doing that with all, all the other stocks. Um, so if I move too fast, feel free to ask questions. Um Again, one thing I do want to kind of say to new investors is that you have to be patient. I do recommend new investors to kind of either swing trade or do long-term investments. And one stock I do want to recommend for new investors is Ford. And the reason is, is because it's a fairly cheap stock that pays a good um, steady dividend. Now, they don't increase their dividends, but they're constant with their dividends and they do give out special dividends, which means that they do pay you a little bit more every time that they do good. So as you see here, every time they do good, they pay um, a next um, uh, special dividend, which means that the dividend is higher. So as you see here, it tells you um, that it pays you a certain dividend. And, you know, I've bought it before. Um, as you see here, Ford paid me a $2 dividend that time. Um, and yeah, they return pretty much money back for having their stock. And the reason I do recommend Ford guys is because I guess, like I said, um, if you're new to, um, investing, then Ford is a fairly cheap stock that pays a good dividend. Now, again, new investors don't panic. If you see red, a lot of people think that, oh, Hey, I lost some money. I need to sell out. Don't guys be patient. As you see here, I've lost a dollar and forty cents with Coca Cola, but it doesn't matter. I'm gonna get that back in dividends, and eventually the stock is gonna go up. Now there are many different types of stocks out there. There are many different kinds um, of stocks, and I will get into that eventually. But I wanted to kind of take it slow for you guys. So there's dividend champions, dividend aristocrats. I mean, not dividend um. Um, stock aristocrats there's champions there's blue chips there's many types of stocks out there and again like ford apple these are all blue chips but some of these are champions like um coke is a champion it's it's which means that you know this is a company that's paid a dividend and is going to keep paying a dividend and it's going to keep growing because it's a huge company that most likely is never going to pretty much die out it can but it's hard for this company to collapse and die out same thing with Apple and same thing with Microsoft and same thing with Ford. They've been there for a really long time and they look like they're going to stay there for a long time. So for me, that's my method. I buy into stocks that have a dividend and know that are going to have growth. And for me, again, I don't see it. On, I don't see a red being a problem. You guys have to have that mentality and that um, that patience and discipline to you know, see it. Oh my gosh, I'm losing a dollar. Oh my God, I need to sell out. Don't. You only lose money when you sell. If you don't, eventually it's going to come back up and you're going to make money. So again, before you buy a stock, do your research. I know there's people that have thousands of stocks or hundreds of stocks. They buy one stock of this, one stock of that, one stock of that. And again, that's not my method. My method is, you know, buying less than five stocks. I have four stocks that I know so much about that I can keep track. So if one is collapsing, I know when to sell, when to, you know, you know, do my, my method. But again, everybody has their own method, but I feel this has worked for me. I have made a lot of money this way. Um, and I feel like you can too, but you just have to follow these steps and be disciplined. Um, pretty much when you see a stock going down, like as you see today that I did with Apple. Um, now guys, this is not my main portfolio. So this is just a portfolio that I have here on the side to kind of show you guys. I do have a bigger portfolio, which I will be showing eventually. Um, as the video, as I mean, as the videos progress and hopefully as the channel grows, but as you see, once I saw Apple kind of decline, um, as you see down here, I bought into it instead of selling and seeing that, Oh, I am losing money. No, I ended up buying more. And that's my method. If I'm going to buy long-term stocks, um, I'm going to try to buy whenever they're down. So I actually kind of get excited when the stock drops because it's kind of saying like, Hey, it's on a, it's pretty much on, on a discount, you know? So, um, that's when I buy more instead of selling, I buy more at that price so I can average my total return and, you know, kind of buy more of that stock for a cheaper price. 
And that's the way I see it. You know, I don't have to be making money all the time because I know in the future, the, the stocks are going to produce so much more for me. So um, that's pretty much all the information I kind of want to give out right now. I don't want to kind of, you know, throw so much information out there. If there's not, if there's something you didn't get, please feel free to ask, feel free to ask questions. Um, if you don't have Robinhood, I think you guys, I think you guys should jump into Robinhood and, you know, I'll leave a link down in the description, um, where you can apply. And if you use the link down in the description below, you can get a free stock and I can get a free stock. So right off the bat, you know, we both can get a stock and that'll be very beneficial. It's a free stock. So um, I did receive one of these Apple stocks from someone as a gift. So, you know, you guys can earn a free Apple stock too. So um, feel free again to use the link in the description down below to sign up so we can both have a chance of winning a bigger stock. So again, thanks for watching. If you like the video, like, share and subscribe. And I will be posting another video on Friday, um, if not tomorrow, but Again, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.